well, so that's the process. We mix it, we make it uh, sound good, and then it's sent away, it's duplicated, and then, poosh, you end up with this. Yeah. Um, so we have it. It, it, it's nice and shrink-wrapped and everything. What are some of your um, favorite moments of the CD? Uh, I have three very favorite moments. Uh, the first one is just the title track, Lift Up Your Head. I think the song says exactly what we wanted to say in this season of E3 is, you know, despite your times where you're down and it hurts, I mean, God is still going to lift up your head and how strong he is and things like that. And I think it's just a great place to kick off the record and the general theme of the record. And uh, this record really just kind of has a great flow to it. There's, there's a lot of up and down moments where there's some really high energy and then there's also a lot of reflective moments. And uh, one song that's my personal favorite on the record, not just because I let it, that's kind of vain, but <laughs> yeah, but You Are God is just a song that I connected with uh, last January before it was even released. I had been and seen Charlie Hall perform it live and that song pretty much changed my entire view on uh, my Christian walk as a whole, like it mm. completely rocked my world completely. Cool. So uh, I, I had been determined to use this song in some way, shape, or form. And I think the fact that the bridge of life flows from God just kind of sums up everything that we're talking about on this record. And yeah, it's just one of those great, powerful moments. And then the other one would be nothing but the blood. I think the mm. the the groove tasticness of that is mm. just. You get to that ending breakdown and it just goes crazy and it's yeah. just it's one of those just cool moments to be a rock and roll guy. Yeah. What about you, man? What do you think? Uh, I'll probably just limit it to I think nothing but the blood is probably uh, my favorite, but but only for um for a few. I've got tons of favorite moments, but I think nothing but the blood uh, really was Im important for me because that was the first song that we kind of started realizing hey it actually worked <laughs> like we act because you you do projects like these and you record you know whatever you record these three days you go through this huge effort and then there's still no guarantee that you're going to get anything that's workable <laughs> and, uh, and we really didn't have a take two on this. right, right. Um, but that's just the way I mean that's just the way things work uh, but when we were listening through, like, Nothing But The Blood was the first song that, like, wow, like, we seem to have really caught lightning in a bottle yeah. uh, a little bit, so. Um, and then they're, they're, I mean, they're easily a half a dozen. You Are God is really amazing, just the way the band sounds, just a great spirit in that, in that track. Um, but yeah, we're really, we're really happy. Yeah. Um, so, just to close with, what, what do you hope for? What do you hope for for the CD? What I hope for that, that's such an interesting question to pose, just because like there are so many different things that I would hope for with the CD. But I guess the main point that I would really hope is is just the the fact that at the at the end of the day, the, these songs are just summing up the gospel. Like mm. we picked a bunch of songs that just summed up exactly what we're talking about, what we believe in, and what we're passionate about, and particularly the fact that there is this in between point between our depravity and his divinity, and in the middle they all meet. And that's through grace. Yeah. To me, that just is a great thing. And if this record can touch somebody and help that that period of grace between those two points, then I think that that record will have done its job. Yeah. I think for me, aside from the, the millions that will rake in through it. The royalties. Um, yes. The licensing. Royalties. Licensing, merchandising. You know, I, I've, been, I've been signing autographs. Have you signed any autographs? I, I signed, I think, two. With, were you related to the people? Uh, I signed one for my mom. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, we're kidding. We kid. Um, aside, uh, I, I think, yeah, I mean, ultimately, um, I think part of worship is just remembering God's faithfulness in, in times when you have no cause to remember his faith. Like, like life is horrible. Everything about life is saying, blah, you know. And just in those moments, if we could have done something on a CD that people remember, like, wow, there is a God and he cares about me. Um, and, and, and maybe they were a part of singing one of these nights, you know, and just being encouraged by that. I think that was, I think that's one of the things I'd be uh, really hopeful for. So, uh, so anyway, there it is. It's available on this spinny rack thingy, which is, I think, what we call it. Yeah. Um, pick one up and enjoy it and uh, I mean we were blessed to be able to be a part of it and and lead or, or serve the community in this way and we just hope that it blesses you guys as well so give one to your friends give one to your friends yeah bye peace out peace